the IC design process will begin with the IC designer. The IC designer needs to understand the specifications required. Then he will design the circuit schematics, simulate and verify that the schematic uh, performs the necessary functions according to, specific, to the specifications. This is norm normally a reiterative re process. That means that they will go through the design and simulation cycle until the specifications are met. Once the design is completed, the IC designer will come up with the final schematics. These schematics are actually electrical diagrams, to which consist of transistors and sometimes resistors, capacitors and their interconnections. However, the electrical diagram cannot be used the, for the implementation of the IC as it is. Uh, it cannot be used in the wafer fed process. So, the, in order for that to happen, we must first uh, create an IC layout. Let me tell, explain what's the IC layout shortly. Okay, the IC layout is just a two-dimensional representation of the physical the device on paper. So the, if you look at this, let me zoom in, you'll see that the IC layout consists of polygons of different colors. Each of these colors represent a different process layer. For example, purple here is for the metal, and you have the orange polysilicate. The black dots are the contacts, and the gray areas are the diffusion. So the, this actually represents the actual patterns that you will find on the wafer. Now the IC layout designer will translate your schematic into a layout so that it can be fabricated onto the wafer. Now once that is done, once the layout is completed, the next step would be to, to send the layout to the mask shop. Mask as in M-A-S-K. Okay. Shop here. All right. So, what's a mast? A mast is just a piece of glass, chromium, chromium plated glass, in which patterns in the layout are etched onto this glass. The final product you will see. Patterns of uh, opaque layers, opaque chromium layers, and the transparent glass layers. Now, one mask is created for each process layer. So, you can have a metal mask, and that will only consist of patterns for the metal, or you could have a polysilicon mask, and that's just for the polysilicon. Okay. Now, the, so at the end of the mask making process, you will have a set of 12 to 13 masks 
for each design. Okay. And uh, the cost of making masks is, in is increasing because of the very fine lines or very fine geometry that is required to be patterned onto the wafer. Um, typically, the cost of a mask could, could range from US $5,000 or more just for one mask. So, a Okay, so let's recap the IC design flow. You have the circuit design and simulation. Then the you need to translate your schematic, your final schematic into layout. The layout will be sent to the mask shop to you to make a set of masks which will be used in the patterning of the wafers.